we are once again back with another webinar so before uh, i introduce the guest for the today's evening, i would like to thank our sponsors for the the bookshare team uh, before i proceed uh, towards of the guest i would like to ma'am to speak few words for the bookshare over to you hi good evening good evening everybody i am uh, zainab from bookshare i am the membership head for asia africa and uh, i would like to tell you something a little about bookshare as you all know that the membership is free and uh, you can any uh, from monday to sunday all seven days call us on our helpline for membership of uh, organizations as well as uh, individual there are about 10 lakh books and um, you can also visit our india bookshare youtube channel where you'll get most of the information that you require and enjoy reading with the help of bookshare last time we had given you all this information this is for the new participants and you can read these books either on the phone android or ios or on your computers or on your stand alone daisy players so now we have nothing to say that there's nothing to read any which just thank you jayant and have a nice workshop okay thank you yeah thank you zana ma'am for your uh, kind words now i would like to request uh, my uh, colleague uh, shubham kumar the vice president of the trust to uh, proceed further shubham okay um uh, uh, welcome uh, on the webinar okay i i hope everyone is doing quite fine and uh, uh, i think the weather even is nice okay <laughs> so uh, first uh, uh, i have a what do you call a request to the people out there who are listening to us uh, uh, guys please keep your uh, microphone off okay so that uh, whatever the conversation is going on you can listen to it carefully ab apna microphone band kar lijiye taki aapko sunne mein samajhne mein dikkat na ho jo bhi hamare speaker bolenge aapse theek hai and uh, moving on further i i would like to welcome uh, 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 Mr. Ram Murthangi and uh, uh, Ma'am Sheila Ma'am, along with his team, uh, to, uh, please come over and then uh, demonstrate us about the demo uh, workshop on the uh, digital glasses. Thank you, sir. Over to you, sir. Oh, thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you all. Uh, good evening to you all, sir, and thank you for taking the time to come for this webinar and giving us an opportunity to present what we have done. Oh, something about uh, this classes, and uh, thank you, Jen. Thank you, Shubham, oh, for you know giving this uh, opportunity. And I know Shira. Now, just to introduce myself, I am Ramu Uthangi. Uh, I am an engineer by profession, and uh, I said this is uh, no like engineer by profession, and you know worked with uh, companies like uh, Honeywell Aerospace and uh, uh, the Polycom. Communications is my background. and uh, during the course of uh, our presentation i'll tell you what motivated me to do this okay and then uh, shila along with me shila is there from uh, sg shila is our uh, uh, you know beneficiary specialist and uh, philanthropic specialist and uh, what she does is she you know like you know, she brings me all the opportunity to talk to you okay and she talks to all the people and then tells me right uh, Sir, you must go and talk to these people. So, you know, she supports me a lot on this uh, in our mission to help visually impaired. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Sheila. I will share my screen. Okay, and uh, that is. I'll start with a, a small uh, short video uh, that we made. Okay. sense of vision is the greatest gift we have every image we see is a ray of hope an image read beautiful 
Unfortunately, not every human is privileged with this gift. According to statistics, there are 37 million blind people around the world and an appalling 15 million in India. In India, this figure rises to 40 million people with low vision and an astounding 1.6 million blind children in schools. Vision impairment is a serious setback in one's life and the consequences it burdens a person with is heavy. They face challenges every day, in every corner, at every turn. Challenges to communicate, to socialize, to speak, learn, play. As a matter of fact, in every aspect and phase of life. Ophthalmology surgeons and physicians try their best to set right this impairment through surgeries and correcting lenses. But regretfully, the 44% of the visual impairments are beyond correction. And medical science do not have solutions for these problems. Recent advances in artificial intelligence, machine vision, and machine learning will undoubtedly be of great support. They may not be able to see, but it certainly will help ease the life of the visually impaired. Smart Vision, a company based out of Bangalore, India, has come out with an innovative and advanced assistive device. Reading now. I once was blind, but now I see. Wearable device for blind slash visually impaired and a virtual guide to navigate things around you. Speak up in front of you. Face recognition. A wind is in front of you. Walking assistant. Obstacle. 250 centimeter away from you. Smart vision is uh, exclusively made for the person with vision impairment. Basically, we can do things independently, confidently, and uh, successfully. It will convert, it will scan everything, and uh, it will read perfectly. So, whatever is there, uh, the books, it's, we, we need not depend on others. So what I want to tell all the people is try to make use of this product, and uh, definitely, Smart Vision is doing a very good thing. We invite you to be a part of that journey, a journey with a vision to support the visually impaired. Learn more about the wonders of smart vision by visiting www.blindvision.in. Okay. Um, smart vision is for helping uh, people with visual impairment with uncorrectable visual impairment, okay? And we'll go in detail. What is an uncorrectable and correctable? Most of you know about it, but I will briefly talk about it, okay? And this particular project is supported by an organization called Vision Aid uh, out of uh, Boston area, okay? And uh, what, is my, what is our motivation to start this project? The motivation for us there are two people behind this. Both were born blind. Okay. One is Sakib Sheikh. You might have heard of him. And uh, he's a developer at uh, Microsoft in England. And uh, he is the one who came up with this idea a long time back. Long, long time, time back, back means maybe about five years back. Where he said, okay, uh, like, you know, he's a software developer and then he understands what the modern technology can do. And he came up with a small device to interact with him, just to see the things around him. He put a small camera. So today we follow the same technology that he did. But of course, we improved a lot. And that did not become a product for Microsoft, but we made it into a product uh, for the visually impaired. And another gentleman is Raghu, who is an assistant professor at Madras University. He runs an organization called Kanavija Foundation. And he's uh, my subject matter expert whenever I have a question. And he tells me how to go about it. And uh, like, he literally guides us. Okay. Now, what is our mission? The mission is to help people with uncorrectable visual impairment. And this can be addressed through only advanced technology. So we use this advanced technology like 
uh, you know, artificial intelligence, machine learning, machine vision to, uh, to make this thing happen. This could not have been possible about you know, 10 years, years back. back. But, but now, no, the advent of these technologies, so this is very possible. And then we, uh, the second uh, goal or the mission is to, is to make, make an affordable an device for people. Because if you make an, a, an equipment with a cost of lakhs and lakhs of rupees, people cannot afford. So this is the most affordable device that we could make. And of course, uh, enable visually impaired with uh, dignity and uh, to live with independence and dignity. Okay, and what it does, this smart vision is a wearable device, okay? And uh, what, what it uh, is, it is, it is uh, uh, no, it is clipped to your uh, spectacles and the spectacles could be a prescription glasses or it could be a zero power glasses. Okay, and uh, what it does is, first thing is, it finds out an obstacle in a range of four meters. If something is there in your path, okay, ahead of you, it tells you. It tells you that there is an obstacle within four meters. It will be able to tell you what it does. Is suppose I'm wearing the glass. Now I have a cup on my right. It says there is a cup, and then there is a mobile phone on your table. There is a computer in front of you, and if someone is sitting with me, it it tells me there is a a gentleman, a age so and so, is sitting in front of you. Okay, and it also identifies people. When you're looking at it, look around, suppose your friends come, so it identifies them. And it, it first it identifies a gender, like you know, a male or a female, approximate age, and their expressions. Okay. And uh, if my daughter comes in front of me, it says, okay, a female, and then approximately 30 years old, and then she's smiling at you. And then what we can do is we can attach a name to it. Okay, suppose I, I, I say, uh, you know, it asks, would you like to attach a name? And I say, yes. And what's the name? Suppose I say Bhavna, and then it attaches the name, and you said, Bhavna is a right. Next time my daughter comes in front of me, it says, Bhavna is in front of you. Okay? And it can also read books. And Sir, you are not audible, sir. Hello. Uh, Shubham? And now, now it is okay, sir. Yeah, you, you are audible, sir. Now you are audible. Sir. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, it can read books, road signs, newspapers, and manuscripts. Okay. And uh, it can read all the English and uh, some of the uh, Indian languages. You know, it can read Hindi, Marathi, Gujarati, Telugu, Tamil, Kannada, Malayalam, Urdu. And it supports a lot of foreign languages too. Okay. And uh, what are the underlying technologies? How does it do? I will go in detail when I describe the device, but I just mentioned the few of the underlying technologies. You all have heard of artificial intelligence that is coming up in a big way nowadays. So it uses artificial intelligence and it uses mission vision. Mission vision is nothing but a, a high definition camera. Okay. And then it uses machine learning. So it learns what is the, about the objects so or anything that you do, the mission learns. And it has got a, a LIDAR. Okay. LIDAR is a small device that sends out sharp light pulses, okay? And then laser uh, light. And then it returns and then tells how far is the obstacle from you. And uh, we use uh, cloud-centric intelligence, but now we are bringing it to edge uh, too. And then the hardware is optimized for affordability. It's not too expensive. Okay, and then uh, looking at the uh, uncorrectable, what are the uncorrectable impairments? Shubham, am I resounding? Is the audio yes, okay? Sir, sorry. Is the audio okay? Yeah, it's fine, sir. 
Okay, great. Okay. So, what are the uncorrectable visual impairments? Blindness from birth, severe glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy, and age-related macular degeneration. This happens for elderly as they grow older and older. So, this sets in. It is called AMD, and it's very common. You know, above seven, above eighty, you will find about twenty-six percent of the people they have, you know, this age-related macular degeneration. And vision loss is to stroke. I believe about twenty-four percent of people who suffer uh, stroke, they lose, they lose or have impairment of vision. So this can help those people. And damage to optical nerves. Either due to infection or accidents. Okay, and then if I look at the number, the numbers are scary. Like you know, there are about And age-related macular degeneration is about 196 million. So the numbers are pretty, pretty high. And these people can get benefited from what we, you know, from this device. Okay. And uh, of course, this is the, just a graph that shows how the age-related macular degeneration goes up with the age. Like, you know, if, 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 if uh, someone is between 80, 84, about 27.1% of the people, they suffer from age-related macular degeneration. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, then I will get into the smart glasses. Uh, Sir, you are not audible, sir. I'm not audible. And now, now it is okay. Okay. Huh. I know. Uh, till the last slide uh, regarding the age-related uh, macular degeneration. Yes, sir. It was, was fine, audible? sir. Fine, okay. sir. Yeah. Fine. Uh, I should have just ping me if I'm not audible, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sure, sir. Sure. Yeah. So these are the devices. This is the device that you have, okay? And uh, there are there's a bunch of electronics on either side of your, you know, like uh, the specs. That picks up, you know, that picks up the obstacles. Like you know, it sends a, a short light pulse, and then when it returns, it calculates how far is the object from you. Okay. And so we have lost you again, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Yeah. Ramu, sir. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, no, 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 uh, the device can be put into, if you want to see the things around you, you can slide, you, know, you can move your uh, uh, finger on the side and then there is a touch key, you know, as you slide, there is it's braille coded and then there is a T and then you touch it and then it starts telling you what are the things around. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get into uh, read mode, if you are reading a book, then you just touch another key 
you know, which, which is marked as R, then you, you can read the book. In reading the book also, there are uh, multiple facilities you have. You know, it automatically detects the book, the, you know, the language it is written in. If it is English, it starts reading in English. And if it is Hindi, it starts reading in Hindi. And then after it captures the image, suppose you want to pause it at any time, you are busy. Okay, uh, you want to pause it any time, you can pause. Uh, and you want to start reading, you can, un you can start reading. Okay, and when it reaches the end of the page, it tells you, you reach the end of the page, turn to the next page. So it is very friendly here. And then if you want to start reading from all over, you can read that too. Okay. And the third one is the walking assistant. Like, you know, when you are walking, so what it does is, and, uh, you know, it tells you what are the obstacles in front of you and how far are they and uh, what they are. Suppose there is a chair in front of me at uh, a two meter distance. It tells me there is a chair ahead of you in two meters distance. And the third, last one is the, the third, you know, is the face. Uh, you want to attach a name to a face, you can do it. It asks when you, when you find a person and then you can attach a name to it, your friend's names and all you can attach. And the last is the volume control. And when the, in the volume control, you tap it slowly and then it increases the volume. And if you want to come down, you know, you, you, you want to tap it, you rapidly tap it and then it increases the volume and you tap it slowly, it reduces the volume. Okay, on the left side, you have a microphone. Microphone is to pick up, like, you know, suppose you want to give a name of a person to be attached to a face, you can speak through the microphone. Okay. And then there, you know, this can be charged through a, a, you know, a, a mobile charger. So there is a, a small micro USB charging point. Okay, and then there is an on-off switch. On-off switch is when you want to turn it on. When you turn it on, it tells you, you know, since, uh, I mean, like, you know, it, it gives a beep that it has been turned on. And then it also gives a beep where it is turned off. And there is a, a battery, which is a rechargeable battery. So that can, you know, that you can charge in your own time. And then, so that lasts for about uh, three hours. And then there are universal clips that can be attached to any, you know, any, any, uh, uh, spectacles and there is a speaker which is very close to your ear so that others don't hear uh, others cannot listen to what you are what it is telling you in your ear okay but if you want to increase the volume you can always increase the volume in a noisy surroundings okay any questions on smart glasses so far uh, mr ramo can i have a question please sure yeah this is raj shekhar from hyderabad uh, Sounds a very interesting device at the outset. So my question is, is this a standalone device? Well, I mean standalone. Is it connected to uh, any mobile phone via Bluetooth or is it a device uh, entirely on its own? Okay. Yeah, I should have told you in the beginning. No, it, right now the present model requires internet connection. That means it has to be connected through and it has to be paid with a, a smartphone, okay? And it has to have the data connectivity because the intelligence is in the cloud. So it has to be, it, it is not a standalone device. It has, it has to work with your smartphone. Secondly, what is the uh, battery strength? Is it three hours? You said three hours. Uh, how long it takes to charge it again and any plans to increase the battery capacity in the future? Yeah, so you know, what happens, uh, Rajshekar? See, the moment you can increase the battery size, like you know, but the thing is, uh, today these uh, rechargeable batteries are heavy. Okay, so you can carry a battery pack. Okay, and what's the weight of the device, sir? The My weight of question. the device is about approximately 96 grams, on, and then distributed on either side. Okay, Alexa. that means 48 grams on one side and uh, 48 grams on the other side. And what's the charging time? The charging time is about uh, 
uh, two hours, two to two and a half hours, depending on the charger that you are using. And you can always have a spare battery with you. Yeah, you can always have a, a you know, you know, you you can have a uh, you know your uh, battery, battery bank, like in your mobile, uh, your bank, power and bank. then you can charge it. Yeah, power bank. Yeah, but you can't change the battery. That's what you're saying. No, you can change it. But you can change the battery when the battery oh. goes defective. Because see, most of these uh, batteries they have a limited life, whereas the life of your device is longer. So it has got like your uh, TV remote control. You have a a, a, a battery. You can uh, there is a lid, and then you can open it and put a new battery. And my point for you uh, as a developer for the future would be: uh, Can we have a system where the battery can be once it is down, the same battery can be removed and in its place another battery can be uh, uh, inserted and meanwhile the battery which is down could be charged uh, through another casket uh, and so in that way you know you have battery supply all the time yeah that's true uh, yeah russia is a good good idea but what happens is battery... three hours is quite a short time for usage yeah three hours is a short uh, usage this way and we charging, we suggest it takes another two hours Yeah, we suggest that you carry a power power bank is much better because you are connecting through a power bank. Uh, you are connecting through a USB cable, which is normal charging point of the and device. Physically, for me to carry power bank all the time, either in my pocket, wherever, uh, is another uh, additional kind of logistic uh, logistic uh, challenge. That's true. That's true. So I would say we should be we should have a facility where you can remove one battery, charge it meanwhile. And use another in its place, and in that way you'll have a continuous supply of battery, uh, no matter what. Yeah. So we do have a removable battery, oh, but I, I you know definitely we have a removable the battery that is there is a removable battery, but we don't recommend because you are actually uh, you know you know it's uh, it's just like this right like you know it did it, it, it normally the such. Mechanisms are done only for when the battery completely drains out. Then you change your battery. But removing the battery and then putting a new battery for every time you want to that would be a little bit tedious than connecting through a, a power bank, uh, Rajesh. Thank exactly. you, sir. Appreciate your work. Appreciate your work and looking forward. Yeah. Okay. Uh, So this is this for this about the, any, any other questions on the device, sir? Can it update? Hello, sir. Can it, uh, sir? It software can update. Uh, no, uh, is it uh, Stosh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, you you do. Are you talking about the up, upgrades update? Yes, sir. Software, software update. Yes, sir. yes. What it does is okay. Yeah, it is uh, like your computer. The updates come, and then it, it updates. See what happens is whenever you turn on your uh, device, and it looks for a, a new uh, version, and then if the, if a new version is available, it automatically updates. Okay. So sir, all sir. the enhancements, everything are updated automatically. Sir, can we uh, add a? Uh, um... uh object like a, a face in uh, in their software in his software yeah uh you you can add a face uh, can, can you repeat us uh, uh sir my question is uh, sir you were saying uh, we can add face uh, which we want to uh, add uh, sir yes. my question is uh, if uh, A object. Uh, if a device is not uh, detecting any object, can we uh, add that object in the device? Means for yeah. recognition. Yeah, that 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 can be done. Yes, that can be done. Yes, sir. Or oh, sir, uh, sir, can it? Uh, uh, what, sir, is it waterproof? Uh, no, unfortunately, see, right now, uh, unfortunately, it's not waterproof. Like you, like you know, it has got a microphone and a speaker that are porous. Okay, so it is not waterproof. Like you know, you got to take uh, care 
you know, as if you are taking care of your, like, you know, your cell phone, for that matter, you can't carry it in rain, right? So you try to preserve it. Similarly, it, this has to be a little bit, be, you know, it, you know, you know, minor this thing, it's okay, but moisture is okay, but you cannot, it cannot be drenched in rain. It cannot be. But there are, there are ways of doing it, uh, uh, Ashtosh. We are, there, is, there are certain standards that are, we are looking into it, but right now it's not. Okay, sir. Oh, sir, uh, uh, my question is, yeah. it's, sir, sometime uh, camera doesn't uh, capture something due to some uh, light effects uh, or uh, darkness means light, uh, light effects like, uh, and uh, sometimes uh, sometime we can't uh, uh, capture uh, photo from the device uh, like that. I think uh, I am able to uh, uh, asking better means I am showing the question uh, uh, betterly. Uh, means can we uh, attach this device with the mobile or laptop for the uh, better result? Means if a PDF and uh, something. Uh, 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 photo like that. Uh, uh, Ashutosh, can you speak in Hindi so I could translate it better to? Yeah, yeah. My question is that the device that is in it will be put in camera. That's why we can see it. That means the image that we have in front of us, we can see it. If there is an image, then if we can see it, we can attach it to any device, like a mobile or laptop. Ho. जिससे हम अगर उसमें कुछ पीडीएफ हो इमेज हो तो हम उसमें इसमें पुट करके तो हम उसका रिजल्ट अच्छे से देख सके ओके सो रामू सर ऑल द क्वेश्चन दैट आई अंडरस्टूड फॉर आशुतोष इज दैट ही इज ऑन टू आस्क फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट विल द लाइट इफेक्ट और द बैकग्राउंड लाइट विल इफेक्ट द कैमरा और द क्वालिटी ऑफ द कैमरा ऑफ द डिवाइस and second question of Ashutosh is, I would be telling it later, you just go with the first question, sir. Yeah, sure. See, whenever, okay, uh, if the camera is unable to capture the image correctly, you know, there is a, like, you know, like, for example, even uh, sighted people also have a problem. Like, you know, if, the, if it is, uh, there's not enough light or if there is any, uh, haziness or something like that, they won't be able to. The same thing happens with cameras. So what it does is the machine uh, learning algorithm tries to say, okay, let's say, for example, it's a, there is a cup in front of me and the camera is not able to capture it correctly for whatever reason. Then what it, it still tries to say, okay, this looks like a cup. So when the confidence level goes down for the algorithm, for the machine uh, or the processor, then it says like, it is like, so it won't say it is a cup, but it says it's something like a cup. So that kind of a thing that happens. Sometimes it happens with others also, like, you know, it's something like this is there. So if they're not able to tell correctly that it is something, so that happens. And or, or it, it can, when it cannot do it, it says it, it cannot do it. Like, you know, there is an object, but cannot, I cannot tell you what it is. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Ashutosh, I hope you understood the answer. Okay, uh, sir, one of the questions is from uh, you know, Farhan, uh, where they have asked the price of this uh, gadget and uh, um, how much this device cost. And uh, obviously, you have already talked about the accuracy. So, so yeah. what are the costing? Uh, yeah, what I will do is the costing, I will take it towards the end of the session. Uh, uh, is it okay, Ashutosh? Definitely, definitely. So, uh, one more question from Ashutosh was like, uh, previously I didn't ask you that. So it's that, uh, can we pair it with our phone or laptop to uh, see or uh, to increase the accuracy or something of the device? Is it possible with that? And uh, no, no, not now. Uh, no, right now we are using the smartphone only for pairing, only for uh, data connectivity. Uh, uh, but it's a good, uh, you know, it's a good question. And then we'll see in the future whether that can be done. Yeah, definitely yes. Okay, no, okay. But right now, no, it's, it's it won't, it cannot do it. It's only for data connectivity we use a smartphone. 
Okay, thank you so much. Sir, Raj Shekhar now... again. Can I can I have the the opportunity? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sure, Raj Shekhar. Yeah, uh, Mr. Ramu. Uh, in terms of uh, the, we already discussed about the battery issues. I would like you to consider that. Uh, what's the size of the battery? How many megahertz? Uh, no, batteries uh, come in 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 milliampere hours. Okay, mm. that means mm. how long it can give. The one we have right now is one fifteen hundred milliampere hours. Fifteen thousand fifteen hundred milliampere hours. Uh, any plans to increase it, sir? Yes, definitely. Yes, Rajshaka. No, if you look at the technology of batteries, especially this this kind of a rechargeable batteries, the technology is improving in a big way. Okay, so what you know the size? If you take the size and the weight, the size is like you know for the same uh, power, like you know, like let us say for the same ampere hours, the size is coming down. Okay, and the weight is also coming down nowadays. Yeah. So it is definitely possible. What you see today. I'm, uh, we are able to put 1500 milliampere, 1500 milliampere hours. Next next year, we may be able to put in the same space a 3000 milliampere hours. Or even more. The technology is rapidly changing for improving. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So my next question is, uh, in terms of testing, how many uh, people have you uh, utilized in terms of deploying yeah. for testing? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 yeah. I, I should tell you this. Okay, so we have tested this uh, device at uh, Arvind Eye Hospital. Okay, since I last know. October, Arvind Eye Hospital, we have given some. Uh, uh, no, they, what we call it, a, any device that is going, it has to go through some clinical trials. So Arvind Eye Hospital has a center called uh, Low Vision Rehabilitation Center. Okay. Look, hundreds of people are, have been. They have tested on hundreds of people, and also we have. We also have uh, some, uh, you know, some subject matter experts, and also some people where we give, and then you know, they do the testing, and then you know, they give us a feedback. You mentioned uh, in your earlier earlier part of your presentation is that this is a device which is very good for people who are hundred percent blind. Yes. So, how do you justify the point it being tested by low vision people? What do you mean? It is point. How, how do you justify yeah. the device being tested by low vision people? Because the 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 uh, utility part between a person with visual impairment and a person with low vision impairment is huge. Yes, when we say low vision impaired, no, no, like. When we say the low vision clinic, it's a low vision and rehabilitation clinic. Yeah, they test on uh, all all kinds of visual impairments, uh, Rajshaka. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there are no numbers at the moment in terms of how many people no have numbers tested means, it. Uh, uh, in terms of how many people have tested it till now. Yeah, mo mo no, like you know, they have tested on more than uh, hundred people. I can say that I don't have the exact number. Okay. And would you like more people to test it further before you actually deploy it commercially, or you think it's good to go? You know, you know, we, we right now we want to, you know, we want to see you know, test it further in the sense, like you know, we have uh, two play places. One is the uh, uh, Arvind Eye Hospital, and it also went to LV Prasad the Institute of I I Institute, and um, in Delhi it is going to Doctor uh, Rosh. Okay, so these are all uh, what we call it a. a, a these are all life. done by certain professionals. Okay, uh -huh. and they test it on where and then give us a, a structured feedback to us. Yes, sir. Yeah, my suggestion uh, would be that the test should be uh, tested. The device should be tested as by as many people as possible, uh, because eventually it's the users who 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 decide the. The efficacy of the device. Yeah, so absolutely. More testing. Absolutely. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, you're right, you, uh, Rajshika. So we have we have already dispensed more than fifty devices there in the field. Okay, and then but what we do is what is called the 
because you know when when we say testing testing we also have to spend a lot of time when they report problems we have to look into that and then do it so we do what is called a, a structured testing by these hospitals by these eye clinics yes sir thank okay. you yeah. thank you thank for you. your uh, I would like to request, uh, sir, to uh, Ramu sir, you can proceed further, and uh, we can go at the end for the quick Q and A question and answer. Sure, definitely. Huh? Now this comes in a, a, a pouch like this. This comes in a small pouch, and uh, there is a charger, the glasses, a charger, and a user manual. Okay, and it comes in a, a carrying case. And then, uh, what are the things that I want to tell you? Okay. Yeah. So uh, that is that is about the uh, this thing. If if you have any questions, I can take it. But uh, now, right now, I'll request uh, Sheila to demonstrate it. Demonstrate that she has a device uh, with her, uh, and the device is connected to uh, an external speakers so that you can hear. Normally, what is um, you know you uh, when it speaks out. Outside people, you know, others cannot listen because it's, it speaks out in a low volume in right to the ear. So, so what, what we have done is we have connected to an amplifier and an external speaker so that you can all hear. So uh, I will ask, uh, I'll request Sheila to start the demonstration of various features. Uh, Sheila, over to yes. you. Yes, sir. Yes, Yes, good evening. Good evening all. This is how our device actually look like. It looks like exactly a specs and we, we have mounted our device on the either side of the specs and also we have two bands. You can see one is black and also one is red because this is to make safe guard our device so that it should not fall. See, this is how we are. I'm going to wear it in front of you. This is how it looks exactly. Exactly, this is how it looks. It says specs free, and to the left side, I have, and to the right side, also, I have. And now it's very light, it's very comfortable, and it's very tight because I have a red band over the back which fix for all the age this can be fixed for uh, even the elder people and also for the school going children and when it's very tight and it's very balancing everything is fine and it's very easy now i'm going to explain now to the right side to the right side i have usb charger port it says um, place over here where the charging can be done and i have a switch on and switch off button over here switch on and switch off button and i have a speaker here the speaker is very near to my ears so that i can hear the voice uh, even the low voice i can hear and it won't annoy anyone now i'm going to the left side left side the functionalities we have the four keys but the first one is the t where it says the things around us it says the things for example it may be a coffee cup or on the table or it even we are in the kitchen it says uh, where we are and uh, in the bedroom or we are in the living room it says everything and the next thing is going for the reading mode that is the r where it uh, reads 72 language the orientation is not a matter because most of the blind people will be not knowing the orientation they may keep upside down or side but it's not a matter it captures the pictures and it uh, goes on reading and even in the reading mode we have uh, many other functions sub functionalities like pause or it may be repeat or we, it, we can also go for and the one. 
now i am going to an walking assistant where the walking assistant comes to the third part while the walking assistant uh, we have uh, a ray ladder ray where it comes and it it's it even recognize the glass door even it recognize the uh, glass windows everything and it sees the obstacles and it sees exactly the obstacle what is it exactly the uh, it sees 1 meter up to 1 and 1/2 meter and it can recognize till 2 meters and i have the another functionalities which is a fish storage this is very important and it's very useful uh, you can if you have your close friends your relatives or even your family members you can store their name when they come before you the next time it says it may be mahesh or sheila or anyone at the last we have the volume button we can modulate we can go to the higher modulation and also we can make it to a lower one also and this is the projection where we have little bit here we have camera flashlight and also lidar where the camera which is Uh, very near to our eyes and which acts as an eye and it captures the picture and where it turns to the voice modulation and we'll get the voice to the left side where it is very near to the ear and i'll be able to know and also where we have uh, led or light is coming in front way where it's it's the object it says the distance how it works and even we have the flashlight why we are giving the flashlight is in the low light or when the light is dim the flashlight will be helping us to capture the picture and it start reading this is how exactly our device is now i am going to show you how our device works walking assistant now obstacle approximately 1 meter now i am in walking assistant mode obstacle. that is approximately half a meter yes see now i am turning to my left obstacle. side approximately 1 meter i have a wall obstacle. at 1 meter approximately 1 and a quarter meter can you hear me sir obstacle approximately yeah, one i can hear yes. yes we can hear we can hear yeah. obstacle approximately 1 and a half meter obstacle approximately 1 and 3/4 of a meter Ah, because it's seeing the uh, obstacles at a different direction. Because to the left the uh, window is near, and to the right the wall is little bit away. I'll show it again. Obstacle, approximately one and a quarter meter. One and a quarter meter. There is obstacle of a um, window. Obstacle, approximately one meter. One meter. I have a wall to the right obstacle. side. Obstacle. approximately 1 and 1/2 meter in front i have obstacle at 1 and 1/2 meter approximately quarter meter obstacle approximately quarter meter obstacle at quarter meter obstacle approximately quarter meter now it's a quarter meter now i'm changing it obstacle approximately quarter meter obstacle approximately half a meter half a meter now i think you have understand can i move on to the next mode obstacle approximately half a meter now i am going for reading obstacle approximately half a meter stand by mode reading now now it is reading it 
it's reading in malayalam malayalam urikal yan andana irunnu pakshe ippol yan kaanu andaraya kaachiyillatha vakti darikkaraana upagaranavum navigate cheyanulla oru virtual card finished reading the next page why didn't you read hindi or english yes sir it's reading in english now english see he was blind but now i see rubber device for blind visually impaired virtual guide to navigate it does nice things around you seal recognition ext obstacles finished reading the next page now it's reading in hindi hindi barand tha lekin ab dikhta hu no ke liye pehenne yogya device aur ne karne ke liye ek aasi guide karta hai sapa se ki cheezon ko pehchane to finished reading the next page now it's reading an english newspaper page 16 volume 74 number 187 plus 6 taken herald.com h old post pay italy rekindle rivalry in cases monda karnata cases monda euro semi finals live on sony network 12:30 am wednesday page 14 biluru urba cases monda rld A Modi team reached likely this with BBMP to a major server vaccination palai BBMP vaccinate out of July Pravish SC Harkhand 291 and Uttar Pradesh 245 cases Karnataka registered 14 such cases of 2015 and 3 were working there. Here has to be some kind thought to ensure complete of the apex court's direct elections poll performance by making 45 year old Pushkar Singh Dhami A to pandemic to be key term MLA as chief minister of factors for around the poll bank Uttarakhand the Modi dispensation has 20 vacant slots indicated its preference for young new leadership a trend which may also reflect in the cabinet expansion anand mishra bodhi had chaired a five new delhi dhns hour long meeting with the union the samajwadi pti make it side bjp in charge for pendra yadav w home minister bjp of gps w singh madhya pr kalash vijayvard face pushing apple rcu dream minister finished reading the next page no text found try again yes now i am going to repeat repeating page 16 volume 74 number 187 plus 6 taken herald.com in old post page now i am pausing right pausing now i am stopping Okay, stopping. Now I'm coming for things around us. Stand by mode. Things around you. A man standing in front of a keyboard. My colleague is standing in front of me holding this keyboard so it is saying a man standing holding a keyboard. 
a man standing in a room approx 33 years old for my that colleague is time. saying you you can see my colleague say hi he, hi. hi he was standing before me and he is saying that he is standing in the office age of 33 a desktop computer monitor sitting on top of a counter i'm sitting in front of the computer so it's saying i'm sitting on the computer with the desktop a man sitting in front of a computer my colleague is standing uh, he is sitting beside me and he is working on the computer a screenshot of a computer i can see his computer so very well a pink shirt my colleague is wearing a pink shirt and he is standing before me a person standing in a room and another one colleague is standing in the room which is next to me when you can understand i think when i it looks like a person standing in front of a mirror my friend is standing in front of the mirror here what is going on when i change my uh, rotating my head tv sitting in a room i have a tv over here so it is telling a tv is mounted on the wall this is how a man standing in a room another one colleague came in front of me and is saying that now i come to know how a large empty room large empty room i am little bit seeing to the left side a man standing in front of a window approx 37 years old here i have no colleagues so it is recognizing everyone who was standing in front of me a cup of coffee on a table i have cup i have kept a cup you can see it's a co coffee cup so it's recognizing it a bedroom with a bed and a mirror in a dark room yes yes now i am going to the another mood where it is a screenshot of a computer monitor sitting on top of a laptop it's saying my computer now i am uh, going to another one that is a facial storage a screenshot of an open laptop computer sitting on top of a desk a man standing in front of a mirror posing for the camera standby mode now standby mode i am going for settings settings now it is saying how to set you can listen to it carefully update wifi wifi is already updated update wifi wifi is already updated listen device number sv159 password 1234567890 repeating device number sv159 password 1234567890 Seven eight nine zero. It it is giving all the updates, the number of your device, and all the detail. Update Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is already updated. Update Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi oh. is already updated. Update Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is already updated. stand by mode storing face storing face i'm going to store my colleague face 
record name after p mahesh tap to save mahesh i'm tapping mahesh picture saved stand by mode things around you now it is going to recognize the face of my colleague as mahesh you can hear it carefully a man in glasses looking at the camera approx 32 years old tap to recognize Mahesh is in front of you. Yes, I think you have understood now, uh, sir. It was clear enough. A man standing in front of a monitor, approx twenty six years old. Yeah, it's clear you now. It it, it uh, recognized Mahesh. So yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, yes. It, it recognized Mahesh. and it was also telling his age approximate age of 33 and also it was giving a description he was smiling at me yeah okay thank you shila thank you for the uh, you, demo sir. yeah any questions on the demo so far uh i have a question yeah uh does this uh, device have uh, support of handwriting text uh, can you repeat for her uh, does it do it handwritten text you want me to read handwritten text yes uh, does it can do it does yes, yes, yes. it, it can, can do it can do manuscripts it. yes okay. any handwritten it can do and um it was uh, sh- saying like uh, obstacle 30 meters or 3 meters so it is my suggestion that is uh, it would be better if it could say like uh, class in 3 meters away or uh, man is in 3 meters away it would be better for us i think it is like suggestion yes. from me yeah yeah so what what what, what sir, happens just is a minute, no, sir it's reading a uh, handwritten you they can listen to that mr sivaji ru Raju Sir and you I consist of worker now with four in coded detail easy for the light and we if we know or portable it has which is rounded lighthouse on spectacles adjectable for schooling child to so on camera flash lidar out to device functionality who since we have speaker and usb port switch on or op y button We have functioning key with functionality. We have four key. Finished reading. There This was page. what I had written. A little description on about our device. It was reading. I think uh, this he got the answer for uh, handwritten script. Okay. Okay. How it reads? Yes. Ah. Sir, can we increase or decrease the speed and uh, uh, um, uh, change? Uh, um, speech uh, vo- speech voices and uh, can we do also uh, pitch change of voice yeah that feature we haven't uh, it's not there yet uh, right now it just speaks out the way it is doing it. okay that we will be working on we are working on that to increase the speed decrease the speed those things okay uh, right now it is at the the normal uh, the speed the way the you know so we'll be working on that Sir, does it have a proximity sensor? Uh, proximity sensor means uh, when we want to stop that uh, that device, uh, or if we don't want to, uh, oh, uh, over that device, uh, but we want to uh, uh, stop that device for a temporary, for a temporary time, uh, for a temporary thing. Uh, can we? Uh, does it? Yeah, time? you can stop it. You can disable it. Yes, it will go to standby mode. when you do that you tap it again suppose the obstacle mode it is an obstacle mode so you don't want you you are sitting so you don't want that to do it you can just tap <coughs> it once and then it go back to it goes back to standby mode okay sir uh, sir can we uh, also put a uh, uh, lead uh, means wo oh, ear plug uh, we, uh, in that device because uh, um, uh, sometime uh, that is uh, noisy place very noisy place uh, and we want to Uh, put some uh, 
add face but uh, due to noise we can't um, uh, speak so much loud and uh, uh, say to the device but we want to put, uh, put in uh, ear plug or in our device and say in our Ashtur. lead microwave Hello. microphone yes Ashtur. yes आप हिंदी में बोल सकते हो मैं कन्वर्ट कर सकता हूँ आपके लिए इफ यू नीड ओके अब मेरे क्वेश्चन ये है कि जैसे हम बहुत सारे बहुत ज्यादा सो रहे हैं बहुत ज्यादा तो अगर तो उस टाइम हम कितना तेज बोल लेंगे कि इस इस डिवाइस के लिए तो उसमें क्या हम अपनी लीड को वो कर सकते हैं एड टच कर सकते हैं ताकि हम अपनी जो लीड की माइक्रोफोन है उससे हम बोल सके मतलब उसको पास में ला बोल सके Excuse me, Ashutosh. I got your question. I'm just uh, translating it to Ram Ramu sir. Ramu sir, yeah, yeah, I'm audible. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. Uh, Ashutosh's question is that, sir, if we are like, if we are using the uh, smart glasses, so his question is that, like, if we we are in a uh, very sound place or a very soundy place, it's there. We're a noisy place. So if we want to record something or we need to recognize something or we, if the uh, the glasses or the device needs some. a uh, voice input so in that case can we attach a earphone to it to like to capture or uh, which uh, so we can bring the mic to our uh, closer to our mouth to yeah. record okay uh, my uh, we okay the uh, fine we right now it doesn't have that provision but in the next model we are we are we are planning to put that uh, provision because initially the feed with the feedback uh-huh. or the from the subject matter uh, expert says keep our ears open because we we normally want, you know judge based on the noise levels outside okay so that was the feedback no we don't want to block our ears because that is what we depend on for yeah so but we will be working we are working on that we we want to give a you know an option where one could just put a an ear plug Yes. Can I speak right now? Yeah, yes, sure. Yes. Can I speak right now? Yes, yes. Yeah, hello Ramu sir, Dr. Ranjit here from this side. Oh, hi hi Dr. Ranjit. Yeah. Hi, hi. Thank you for your presentation. We are meeting second time. So, virtually yeah. meeting Delhi. As far as question concern, I would like to pour two <laughs> questions, two to three questions. Number one, <clears throat> if I am not wrong, uh if I am not wrong, I heard it, uh, you know, your your device it recognize or reach 72 to two, 72 language what about uh, indian region language whether you are included kannada or uh, any tamil or fluent so for this is number one number two uh, you know i was impressed by your that reading skills especially that reading mode uh, point is that uh, whether it is possible for us to uh, you know kind of impose some bookmark or uh, save that images this is number two and my last question is that last but not least the last question is that uh, how it is possible for us to uh, recognize the particular you know model whether it will suit you know it will suit it for our face or not because in what happens in both we have three model right tempo tenure and i am another i am not able to remember out of three they have given option for us to recognize these things so thank you for your patience listening yeah uh, to answer your the number one question does it support indian languages yes it can support uh, you know hindi telugu tamil malayalam kannada marathi gujarati so many uh, and a lot of common uh, regional languages it can support okay and uh, some to the languages you don't really require all the languages because of one chinese and uh, you know chinese or uh, spanish and all we don't really require okay but since we have the libraries they are there but it recognizes indian languages it can uh, speak in you uh, know it can uh, read in uh, indian languages and it can all the reason uh, languages okay right now the bookmark is not there uh, dr ranjit but we will be doing it because that is one of the requirements that are that is coming up but we haven't worked on that yet but it is possible it is possible for that we require a storage like you know where we want to do the thing and then no recall and then right now only page by page it is doing okay so this input i'll take this bookmark uh, uh, 
on the third one you said about the bows so i know i could not really understand your question about i will I, i will repeat again see the point is yeah. that i hope if you're not wrong you have only one model right so how it is possible uh, to you know how it is possible for us to fit whether that uh, you know model it will properly fits or not manlo if one model is not suitable or it's not uh, looking comfortable on my face then how i mean how it is possible for me to purchase that model bows i took example because they have given three models there like tenor tempo and sports so we at least we have three models option we can cherry pick from that three model that's why yeah. okay so uh, yeah i understand i understand oh, so here what happened uh, no today the specs that you choose that fits your thing like you know you can you can uh, make a an adult or a medium size or the child size you can do anything and this is with the universal clips you just clip on this devices Oh, it's a clip. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Got it's it. a clip-on device. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor Ranj. Any other questions? Hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. I'm audible, sir. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Yes, Mohan Kumar. Yeah. Uh, yeah sir my question is suppose that i have a book uh, of what english but i would like to read it in hindi language so is it possible to change the language uh no you have a book and the script is english and you want to be translated to hindi yeah translation is asking about the translation so is it possible in that device oh uh, no no this is not a translation it reads what it sees and now sir i i want to know about that how to connect the internet for the device okay see you can configure this. she demonstrated this uh, wifi but we have a a way of doing it we give you instructions they like, can you know, if you have a wifi you can you know you program that wifi so it gets attached when you are at home it gets attached to wifi otherwise you can make it uh, you can connect it to your smartphone a hotspot we give you the instructions to do that uh, can i come in yes please uh, i want to ask if in a paper hindi and english both is written there to will it yes. translate accordingly on its own yes. or do we have to switch the mode yes you know suppose i i, I have written here you know uh, i am ramu yeah. my mera naam ramu hai okay huh. it reads i am ramu mera naam ramu hai it does it, it it switches automatically okay you do it it recognizes because it's going by the script recognition whatever yeah. language i write 10 different <laughs> languages it speaks in 10 different languages we don't have to change the the no, mode no, not at all. Oh. there is nothing like a programming uh, mode uh, um, you know it, there is nothing like a programming of uh, the language okay it yeah. automatically recognizes and talks okay okay thank you thank you uh, hello yes please Sir, suppose that I am walking. Now I would like to know about that. How many distances are covered in uh, for the device? How many? What is how it? many? How many distances? The question is how much distance it can cover. How much distance? Like fifty meters, one meter, two meters. It can detect the object. No, no, no. We have a limitation for the uh, today. What it can see? You don't really require. we are talking about an obstacle that is why we require this feature in the first place because for the safety of a person i am safe if, if there is an object 10 meters ahead of me only thing is if this object is close by and i don't want to run into it without any problem okay i don't want so our today the technology supports up to 4 meters so we do have a sensor that can detect up to 4 meters that's it and mr ram i think the question is regarding how many steps that it can count 
so he is asking from a fitness device point of view and i don't think this is a fitness device no this is not a fitness device no no for that you have to go for a fitbit uh, ram sir can i have liberty to take one more extra question if you permits yeah please so my point is that man lo we are sit- we are standing in a place and i book uh, an uber cab i'm giving an example so this device is able to read the number of uber and so on so forth okay um yes suppose you are looking at that uh, name uh, the number plate yes it can read no being a totally blind it is very difficult for me to look that number plate particularly you know yes okay so uh, okay this is a very interesting question ranjit we we discussed uh, when we were discussing among ourselves my team okay uh, when when you are uh, when, when i see a name plate you should recognize as a name plate and then read the name similarly for a number plate the car number plate also we are working on that it knows it's a car and we know the there is a, a number plate and then we'll be able to read but right now we haven't tested it but we can do it it's possible you are not only car in so future i'm talking about to include this feature whenever we are going to indoor atmosphere i'm talking about whenever we we are going to meet some person in office being a visually challenged we can't read their name plate or so and so far even that yes. indoor model also you have to include in future this is my humble suggestion that's it. thank you sure definitely we'll do that ranjit uh, mr ram Because... i have another question uh, please permit me Yeah. Uh, uh, one second. I just want to request. She- I want to talk to Sheila for a second. Sheila, you, you, you no, yes, it's sir. getting late for you. Please. Yes, sir. Sheila, you may like to leave. Okay. Okay. Fine, sir. Thank you, yeah, everyone. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you, sir. You no, know, Sheila will be leaving as she wants to say yeah, thank you and uh, goodbye to you. Okay, thank you, everyone. give me an opportunity to explain about my device today everything is going good very well i really appreciate for this bhumika trust thank you okay, okay sir thank you good okay. night yeah i'm sorry can uh, ranjit you are saying something no i say i completed my question yes yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, so can I take my turn, sir? Oh yeah, please. <laughs> uh, we are anyway using a smartphone that goes along with the device, yes. and on my smartphone, I have my screen reader running all the time. Yes. So when I'm using this device, what will happen to my screen reader? For example, I get a phone call, I get a text message. Will that be still heard on the device, or or will my oh, yes. smart voice will will be muted? no 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 see it has got nothing to do with the what it's doing what it is only using the data connectivity on your phone so the phone is completely left to do what it is doing today so whatever my screen data on the phone reads it will still be heard oh yes simultaneously because that is coming from a, a different speaker okay. okay yeah and a different uh, um, uh, no camera Okay, so both the device and the screen data will work uh, yes. simultaneously. Yes, because it would it wouldn't know that you are reading a screen data because what we are using is only <coughs> a, a hotspot. So what you are saying is these are two speakers separately. So I'll be hearing one uh, one voice from one headphone and the other from the other headphone. That's what you are saying. That's right. Uh, excellent. Excellent. I think that's a very good feature. That's a very good feature. Yeah. Audio now unmuted. Hello. Unmuted. Audio now unmuted. Yeah. Any other questions? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, Two questions. Like, uh, does it have a column detection feature? Like, uh, if we read uh, books, uh, usually we have two. Uh, so it it doesn't like anything. So, uh, do we have a column detection feature? Or next is, uh, yes. are you are you planning to configure? Uh, 
uh, like is it in your consideration like if we help if we if we have a map in the into this device so it will be much more easier to navigate right so yes sir yeah so column yes you know it can uh, suppose you have to typically the books or most of the books have got two columns okay and then uh, when it comes to news uh, papers they have multiple columns so it can it detects it detects the the columns because they are separated and then it reads accordingly okay and then as far as the maps are concerned that right now that capability is not there it requires much more intelligence uh, to read the maps all right sir thank you sir yeah thank you hello yeah yeah sure uh, one question this device name which which this device device name uh, yeah it is called a smart vision glasses you my eye yeah okay sir uh, my name is venkat i uh, haven't get yeah sir till now you haven't disclosed the price okay okay i'll i'll tell you i'll tell you the price yeah. see sure, sir. Uh, uh, right now these these are uh, we, we are when we are going to release it into the market they are going to be supported by people in uh, different regions what we call it a uh, distributors okay so the distributors have their own pricing the mm and the mrp of this particular device is 42000 rupees okay but the distributors will have their own uh, uh, what do you call the discount schemes and all that and they will be doing the the support the training the support and everything wicket you got a have i answered your question wicket hello sir uh, this device is available on market what i mean uh, i question this device are available all of the market no not yet not yet we are going to introduce it in the market okay and uh, when it is marketed uh, you know the delhi will have a, a distributor in delhi like that it will have we we are going to sell it through distributors because it has to be you know a little bit of training and support is required initially mm, sir this device uh, available for uh, saksham available for saksham 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 trust uh not yet not yet they haven't approached us Okay. So, uh, you know, if any any um, any trust is approaching us, oh, you know, it's a different uh, thing altogether because they can approach us and they know they can like today there are other trusts um, that are approaching us. So it, the, when the trust approaches, this is a different uh, thing because they 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 do it in bulk. like today rotary club of chennai they are approaching us they they have approached us and they are taking uh, hundreds of units from us okay uh, but for smaller institution if they are not able to order in in a hello can they still go for it are you now on unit yeah yeah We, we you can still go for that uh, i am not but do yeah okay mute my audio sure. so uh, sir what is the expected date that it would be like launching or will be coming in the market no? see what happened was i'll tell you the uh, the problems that we are facing today is with the pandemic uh, uh, what what could i get your name uh jain jain the problem that we are facing is the uh, the with the pandemic um the, the, this parts have to you know, we we are dependent on some parts from different uh, people 
like you know the enclosures are done by uh, one of our uh, one of the plants here because they're plastics so we are facing a lot of problems with that you know because they are not coming on time and some of the parts that are coming from outside from us and all they're also getting delayed okay so initially we wanted to introduce in the month of uh, august so we do have some what we call it a, a limited number which are which are going to for uh, the various hospitals and few trusts okay but for general public i wanted to introduce it in uh, the month of august but it's getting a little bit delayed okay sir so in that case sir uh, what is the proposal that you have for the bhumika trust if you like procure some uh, from you so what is the proposal that you yeah. have for us if bhumika trust comes comes forward and says that we want so many well, that we can talk we can uh, because there is something when it when the trust talk to us we it is called the institutional okay you know it has got a different kind of uh, uh think all together the pricing and everything is different okay okay sir yeah. so sir in that case uh, what would be like if we approach you for the uh, uh, means for the devices so what are the minimum numbers that we can order you want this much minimum to be ordered from you see no, typically we the um, when when it comes from organizations like you know today i have vision aid okay they want about 500 okay and then there are some people who want like you know 200 or 100 so like that so that way what happens is it becomes easier for us to handle the training and all because bhumika trust they will identify a trainer who they will he will be responsible for training others mm. yeah so uh, you know i say about 100 units okay okay sir yeah so in that case uh, would you be also providing a demo or something like that product oh, yes. Yes. Demonstrate for the people. We, we we do that. We done first, and then uh, we could uh, place the orders. Uh, if that Definitely. would be right. Yeah. If you could give us a prototype, and then we can show it to the people, and then we can get the orders from them, and then we can place it a bulk order to you. So. Yeah, we will we will uh, uh, we have to this because right now I'm giving to the hospitals and the rehabilitation centers. Okay. Okay. So. uh there's the we can uh, like you know, if you are in delhi you know there is a, a uh, some uh, the demo units are there are going to dr rosh hospital dr okay. shraf dr shraf no which one dr shraf shraf yeah yeah dr shraf hospital so uh they are going there okay. so they you know we we could you could uh, may make use of the facility over there because okay. the we are going to train the people over there and uh, like you know so that's that's how it is working in delhi now dr okay. shraf's hospital okay okay dr shraf hospital sir which branch you're talking about like it's uh, uh, one is in uh, daria ganj or which one you're talking about this uh, gk gator class no i do not know because uh, okay. this is coming from vision aid okay so uh, um, there is a gentleman in uh, chennai he is coordinating with us uh, he hasn't given the address to be shipped but they are going to Okay. Dr. Shroff's. That's what. What is it? Shroff's hospital, right? Sir, VLN, sir. Ah, VLN, sir. Yes, you are right. Uh, sir, that is Darya in Darya Ganj. Okay, okay, great. Uh, VLN, VL sir, is going to give me the name. Yes, you are okay. right. Yeah. Thank you, sir. If you like, could like uh, provide us also the prototype. That would be good because uh, we can like collaborate with different other organization, different tasks and organizations, and then we can do in different states as well. So what I was saying, sure, sure, different sure, Jain. capital states of the at least these in each states yeah sure jaint we could definitely certainly do that okay we will But, talk it later in details yeah definitely uh, now we request the attendees if they have any more questions to go further yes yes i have uh, sir i want to uh, sir i have some request please add uh, 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 a gps system uh, gps uh, feature in uh, uh, smart vision and uh, i don't know the name of actual name of uh, G, uh, like a gps who is uh, who comes in the um, um, smart car uh, auto car, auto drive car what is yeah. the name of correct uh, autonomous uh, vehicles yes, uh, tesla uh, waymo yes, yeah uh, that is not actual gps uh, that is uh, like gps uh, means other name uh, 
uh, yeah. uh, okay. I want to uh, sir please add that and sir I want to also request sir if you want to uh, sell it globally you should also add it in a uh, be my eyes app sir that in be my eyes app you can get tech in uh, uh, column of techno uh, technology um, uh, that in that um, you can uh, uh, register you as a company or something else and um, uh, uh, so uh, sir he just wanted to ask like if you have the gprs system installed in the device or like it would be an update in the device coming uh see gprs is a different kind of see about the couple of things that i am thinking uh, jayant i'm just telling you it's not at uh, i'm uh, talking law okay we could make since you know, we are already pairing with a, a what is called uh, a smartphone okay because more major to the smartphones today support uh, gps system you are talking about a gps system right okay a global positioning system no what happens is we could make use of those apps because it's it's very commonly it's available on all the thing so we could make use of it you know i'm thinking in those lines because again um, putting a, a gps chip and then you know, doing it doing the software is going to be very expensive no uh, it's not needed okay. it's not needed because majority of the people are do carry a smartphone nowadays okay so for navigation getting the directions from a, G, a smartphone and relaying it through our device would be much more easier okay, okay. yeah that's what i'm thinking like you know thinking of doing it because for putting a gps chip is unnecessary waste of money yeah. definitely definitely sir so any more questions if the audience has or we could like in the demonstration pardon me uh, i'm asking the audience so if they have any more questions or they, uh, we can then end it. oh yes sir sir your good name please Hello. Hello. Yeah, your good name, please. Uh, yes, Ritik. Yeah, Ritik, go ahead. Ask the question. Uh, so, like, are you planning to launch it on a Flipkart on Amazon? And second thing is, he, as my friend says, he uh, said that, are you planning to uh, conclude uh, include GPS in the device? So, uh, it would be recommendation of mine. Like, uh, can we pair it by a mobile phone in the future? So. if if we uh, we try to if we try to navigate via uh, maps so we can uh, 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 here's the direction uh, on uh, on the device itself so is it possible okay uh, number one amazon we haven't uh, started because uh, amazon is a again uh, to a consumer the support you see this requires a bit of training uh rithik so we are not we are not contemplating to sell it on uh, amazon now we are going to go through only distributors and offer the trust okay that's number one number two uh, as far as the navigation part is concerned today there is so much of work was done by different uh, you know different people like you know let this be you know google or apple or so there's, there's so much available on the you know today you ask uh, you know either okay you know our google assistant or uh, apple siri you can just get uh, navigations from there okay so we we don't intend to put it in our uh, device but what we want to do is we want to route it through our device that means when you ask that uh, when when the microphone of our device you can say i want to go to let us say in uh, kanat place okay so then it can take the your local coordinates and then give you the the directions through the mobile phone that 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 there is a plan that i have but other than that directly uh, we don't want to put it inside because it requires a, a different kind of because we want to make this device as light as possible the more hardware you put the heavier it becomes so sir what are the connectivity features that the device has with the like it's a, it has bluetooth it has like wifi so what are all the connectivity features that it has yeah it has got wifi it has got bluetooth it has got a usb 
So Bluetooth, uh, is it possible? Like, if we could like uh, pair it with some of our earbuds or earphones, right, sir? If I'm not wrong. Yeah, that that you can do. That you can do. Okay. Uh, but right now we haven't provided that. Right now the connectivity is through because we have a limited functionality. But that's the plan. Like you know, uh, what we can do is the, through the smart for smartphones. Talk to your any device like you know, today Bluetooth device through Bluetooth. So that that can be paid. That's not a problem. Okay, so Bluetooth feature is available. USB charging is available, and plus the Wi-Fi connection is available. No, Bluetooth. Bluetooth is there. Bluetooth is there, but we don't use it. We don't use Bluetooth uh, today. Okay, no. We use Wi-Fi. We we use Wi-Fi facility. No, no, like today, Sheila, ma'am, uh, when she was demonstrating about this pro- device. So at that time, I think so. She uh, connected the device with the Bluetooth speaker, so that was connected. Uh, to Bluetooth, no? Oh no, no, no! That is not connected to the Bluetooth speaker. Speaker, it is connected to, um, you know, direct. Uh, it's a direct wiring. It's a wired connection. Okay, okay. It's wired connection. And Mr. Rabu, uh, yeah. How do we get in touch with you? How do we contact you? Yeah. Or whom you do we could, contact? Uh, yeah. We we you know uh, Jayanth has our uh, uh, yes. telephone number, yeah. okay, and our email ID, okay, and then anyone could uh, talk. So Jayanth, to... can you share the email ID? Can you share the email ID? What we can do, you, you can write us to the people, and we can like forward your concerns to Ramu sir, right sir? Yeah, you could do that too. Yes. Yeah. What's the email ID, Jayanth? What's the email ID? Can you share it? Yeah. You can just take it from there. Can you announce it? Here? Uh, it's one more thing. Yeah, can I read it out because I'm blind. I will take it. Okay, okay. I'm just telling. Yeah. Bumika Trust. Yeah, Jayant, can I come in? Yeah, j- just a second. Bumika Trust three at the rate gmail dot com. So I'm just spelling it once. B H U B U M I K A Trust T R U S T three at the rate gmail dot com. No space in between. Okay, ma'am, please go ahead. Ah. Uh. i just want to ask one thing there are many blind institutions which runs on a small scale they may not be able to order in hundreds so if they want to order in 25 or even 10 piece or 20 piece can they still place the order or do they have to take the help of a bigger organization no you, why don't you uh, yeah you can always take uh, yeah, the the best would be if, if there are small organizations ma'am what happens yeah. is the bigger organizations are even helping them procure that yeah okay. but then the cost may go higher for the smaller organization if no, we no, are no 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 it will, actually when i say bigger organizations like yeah. we you have those rotary clubs lions clubs vision aid all these people or if you uh, they are helping them helping them that they are subsidizing and they are doing all these things but to answer your questions yes <laughs> If there is an organization that requires these things you can always uh, we can always support you okay because i am from a small center where there are just 25 students staying at one time Hello? Like okay. the batch keeps on changing that's it <laughs> yeah we can definitely support you ma'am okay thank you because i don't want to support individuals because the yeah, support that will become a huge thing for us and the training because part the training has Yeah. because tra- training each person it takes quite a lot of time and money yeah so the training and has to we, be done we 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 are we are a small organization it's not very big okay yeah thank you thank you thank you thanks so i hope sir uh, there are no more questions so uh, i would request uh, my uh, Mr. Mr. Mohan Kumar to uh, give the vote of thanks and then we can conclude the meeting. So. Sure. So, अपने विचार हम लोगों के साथ रखने के लिए और ये जो उपकरण है इसका परीक्षण करने के लिए और जितने भी यहाँ पे पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैं उन सबको बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद कि आपने सेशन अटेंड किया और 
जो भी क्वेश्चन थे जो भी आपकी चार थे उनके सामने रख सर के सामने रखे और अपने क्वेश्चन पूछे और सर ने और सीधा मैम ने पढ़ी तो वो भी उनका आंसर दिया तो बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद और सभी थैंक यू थैंक यू मोहन कुमार थैंक यू फॉर योर काइंड वर्ड्स ओके इट इज आवर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लाइक नो सो योर मोस्ट वेलकम विल डेफिनेटली बी विथ यू ओके एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर काइंड वर्ड्स थैंक यू एंड गिविंग एंड थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग एज एन ऑपरचुनिटी जयंत थैंक यू आई ट्रूली अप्रिशिएट इट फॉर कमिंग थैंक यू बाय एवरीवन थैंक यू बाय टेक केयर एंड हैव अ ग्रेट इवनिंग